Hello everybody, my name is Cyrix and I'll be your narrator for today. We will be taking a look at level 100, also known as Silent Sounds. Survival difficulty, class undetermined. Mysterious properties, unknown information, undocumented entities. <laughs> level 100 is the 101st level of the backrooms. Level 100 is a thin line of beach surrounded by an ocean on either side. Description. Level 100 is compromised of a straight path of sand with an infinitely expanding ocean. The sand looks smooth, with the path itself going on for an unknown amount of time. From the singular explorer that traveled here, however, the sand trail doesn't seem to have an end or start point. While going along this trail, one can occasionally encounter random objects. These objects will usually be personal belongings like cell phones, photos, articles of clothing, and other small items that will be carried by an individual. Information about this level is limited due to only having been explored once. From the information learned, it seems that going far enough down the beach trail eventually leads to the occasional gravestones. Curved on each side is a drawing of a face. Although each drawing is childless and rudimentary, the explorer described them as looking calm and though they are at peace. As well as faces, the headstones have dates on them. It's currently unknown where, why they're there, but they're they are theorized to be the date of death, given that they are on a memorial. No shit, Sherlock. Both sides of the ocean of level 100 are infinite, as even after swimming for multiple minutes, the explorer star stated that the horizon never changed and the ocean just kept expanding outwards. After taking some time to rep to repu to recuperate, recuperate, the explorer decided to dive into the ocean's depths. The ocean was mostly featureless compromised entirely of sand. One can get clear visibility under the water, which easily displays the endless descent into the ocean floor, all compromised of nothing but sand, which eventually solidifies and clumps into the rock, bases, communities, and outposts. There are no known bases, communities, or outposts on this level. The shadow. The shadow is an entity that is variable, that is viewable only in, in one's peripheral vision. Although there have been reports of the shadow on many levels of the back rooms, the main residence of the entity is theorized to be level 100. Although it was initially believed to be invisible, new research has shown that the entity has extremely sophisticated camouflage being able to accurately mask itself with the environment to the point where seeing it is almost impossible, leaving only its shadow visible. MEG Interview Log 8872 Date The 31st August 2018 Interviewer Alex Parton Interviewee Holly Clove So, could you explain what happened, Ms. Clove? Well, I was in level 11. I was just going around on my own. Everything seemed fine until I heard some chatter down the road. I was curious because I thought it was you guys speaking, but it turned out to... Well, it wasn't anyone MEG. It was some different group. They started chasing me for whatever reason, and so I started to run. I didn't want to enter in any of the buildings because... We know. Just explain what happened. Not to be rude, but we're interested by your discovery. Right. Well, after being chased down for a while, I decided that I could just play dead. In hindsight, it's a terrible plan, but I thought it'd be worth a shot. I got out of sight of them for only a few seconds and used that as a chance to lay sprawled out on my stomach. I was near those faceless guys too, so I only assumed the attacking people thought I was killed by that. And then what? After that, they left but I was just worried they were tricking me. It did seem like too much of an easy win. After laying there for a while, I felt something pick me up. 
Before I had the chance to react, I was stood on a thin strip of sand. The, there was some water either side, and it was all very bright and warm and tropical. I also couldn't see what took me, but I think it was some shadow creature, maybe? Did you find anything there? Mm-hmm. As I walked, there were random items on the beach. I didn't pick them up, but there were pictures of people, phones, whole bits of clothes, and some other stuff like lighters. Just stuff people would carry, you know? Anything else? There were some headstones the further I went. They didn't have any names, only calm and relaxed faces and dates. It was weird, so I didn't touch anything. You mentioned a thin strip of sand. Was there anything else there? Yeah, it was all just water. I went for a swim, just going outwards for multiple minutes. I saw no change in the horizon. It was just ocean forever. I took some time to get my energy back and then dived down. The, the seabed just went down forever and all of that sand just became rock. It was actually really clear under there too. How'd you get out? Well, after I got out and got a quick photo, I decided to walk around a little more. After a few hours, I got really thirsty, so when I found a bottle, I was pretty happy. So I picked up the water bottle on the beach, only to be grabbed by the sides and taken to level zero. Anything else, miss? Uh, nope. That's all. Well, thank you, Miss Clove. That's all now. Entrances and exits. Entrances. The true way of entering is currently unknown since any attempts to recreate the original way inside have provided fruitless. Nothing less, the previous way of entry was to play dead until the shadow transported you to level 100. The first time this happened was on level 11. Exits. To leave, one has to tamper with the objects and presumably gravestones scattered across the beach. Doing so will attract the presence of the shadow, who will then transport you back to level zero.